Hello guys, in this video we will tell you how to fix when you cannot change the power plan in Windows 10 or 11. Before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit a problem button from there. And comment down below on our videos about your problem and don't worry, we will make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Change the power plan. For this, open the run box by pressing the window plus R key together and in the run box, type control and press enter. After that, expand the view by category and select large icon option. Then from there, locate and click on the power options option. After that, in the left panel, click create a power plan. Then select the balanced power plan and press next then create number two run the power troubleshooter for this go to the start menu and type settings after that click on system then troubleshoot and select additional troubleshoot option after that click the run button for the power window will automatically launch the troubleshooter and show the issue for which window can troubleshoot number three reset the power settings for this type command prompt right click the top result and select the run as administrator option after that in the command prompt enter the following command and press enter number four update your device drivers for this press window plus r key to open the run box and from there type devmgmt.msc and click ok to open the device manager after that in the device manager window expand the disk driver section then right click on this driver and choose uninstall driver make sure to uncheck the delete the driver software for this device option in the pop-up if it shows up after that go to the top menu in device manager and under the actions tab select scan for hardware changes the driver should appear back in the list if it does not don't worry just simply restart your pc and it'll appear back after that, right click on this driver again and choose update driver and select search automatically for drivers. Window will automatically scan for available driver updates and will download them. After that, again just simply start your PC to apply the changes. Number 5. Check for software conflicts. For this, press window plus R key and from there type MSCONFIG and press enter. After that, in the system configuration window, go to the services tab. From there, check hide all the Microsoft services services and click disable all button after that go to the startup tab and click open task manager from there disable all startup application and close task manager and click ok in the system configuration window after that just simply restart your computer to apply the changes number six run sfc and dsim scan for this again open the command prompt in the administrator option and type the following commands commands like sfc slash scan now or dism slash online Press clean up image restore health and press enter and just again simply restart your computer. Number 7. Adjust user account control or UAC settings. For this, press window plus S, type UAC and select change user account control settings. And from there, move the slider to the desired level. Note, not higher than the default setting and click OK. Number 8. Create a new power plan. For this, press window plus X key and select power option. Then click create a power plan on the left sidebar. After that, select the plan that best suits you. It can be balanced, high performance or power saver depends upon you. And click next. Name your plan and click create. Number 9. Perform system restore. For this, type create a restore point in the window search bar. After that, click on system restore under the system protection tab. After that, it will automatically prompt you to select a certain date and open the restoring window. Note, if you previously created a restore point, you should utilize it. Otherwise, the computer will display a recommended date for restoration. Then, click finish to complete the process. Note, the finishing time is a few minutes. When finished, the computer will automatically reboot. Number 10. Try updating your windows. For this, press window plus I key to open the window settings. And from there, click on update and security. After that, in the update and security window, click on window update in the left side menu. Then, click on check for updates and let window search for any available updates and will automatically download them. After the updates are installed, just simply restart the computer and check if the function is working correctly or not. 